This is the world record speed run for the Devil yeah. May Cry well, 3 I mean, Bloody weeks. Palace with Virgil. The intention of these videos so. is to give Agreed. deeper insight and to help explain as to what is happening in the speedrun. However, it is also intended to double as the official world record. Because of this, the audio for the original right. must be audible at all times, all right. and I cannot edit or pause the footage. Right, Bloody Palace, this time, this Bloody time. Palace is a bonus game mode in Devil May Cry 3 game. Special Edition that tasks the player with going through all 9,999 floors of enemies in a single sitting. Each floor Gary. has a random chance to be one of many preset enemy patterns. Gary, like, literally Every 1,000 floors yet. has a new group of preset enemy arrangements that is put into play, and the difficulty is also slightly increased. Every 10 steps up the Bloody Palace, you're required to fight a random boss. This could be any of the 15 or 16 this possible boss fights. I don't think I've ever seen After defeating before. the floor, you're prompted with one of three options. The fire portal, which moves you up 100 oh, floors at a time. The lightning portal, which moves you yeah, up 10 floors, but gives you more devil like trigger. And the water portal, which moves you up one floor, but gives you more health. The less floors you move up at a time, the easier the enemy pool becomes. The speedrun also allows you to start Bloody Palace with anything you want unlocked. So generally, you will start with the maximum amount of Devil Trigger, Health, and all moves unlocked as well as Super Costume. For the uninitiated, Devil Trigger is a special form that increases the amount of damage you do, the swing speed of your attacks, it regenerates your HP, and increases the amount of damage you take on hit. Super Costume allows you to have an unlimited supply of Devil Trigger at the expense of it no longer regenerating health. Bloody Palace forbids the use of items entirely, so it becomes a showcase of proper speed in killing enemies and bosses for about 45 minutes straight. The fucking... Luck is also a heavy the factor, because some of the arrangements like of enemies possible, are much easier like and faster to kill than there. others. Especially since some of the Why bosses like are also very slow. And run from there Virgil's most damaging attack is his dive kick and his summon swords combined. Like where I think most enemies in the game are most easily dispatched by like doing a technique known as jump canceling to repeatedly dive kick them in the face while spamming summon swords. The summon sword button in this instance is remapped to something easier to mash, like left bumper. Because Virgil's summon swords can be shot during any animation with no cooldown, the entirety of the combat needs to have these swords spammed for ultimate DPS. In the speedrun, it's fastest to just go for the fire portal every time and move up 100 floors. You'll go up 100 floors 100 times, completing the Bloody Palace. Every 10 floors, you will be greeted with a boss fight and then a difficulty increase. There should only be two of them, I think. No. I'm stupid and a liar. Never trust anything I say. There's three of them. My bad. The first boss I get in this run is Jester. Yeah, this is the best possible there. boss fight you could ask for as Virgil, because the jump cancel dive kicks to the face are super effective and make very quick work of them. That's gold. We got one Jester, that's good. We want two more of those. Or, like, two Severus or something. Yeah, I've been doing okay. They're kind of struggling with the Corona memes. Just getting real lonely and shit. But it's going okay. So, attack the enemy that's right in front of you. Just been working on the YouTube and stuff. Grinding out some world records and in, in some DMC3, which I know is not what most people want to watch me for, but I don't really care. I have YouTube now. Not all enemies are created equal. Some must be killed first in order to maintain the maximum amount of speed possible. 
I figured For instance, I could pretty much the blood goyles, like, if not hit with summon swords first, will split indefinitely and keep you fighting longer. So in rooms where they exist, the top priority is eliminating all of them first. The stream content, or the... Greeds are similar as well, because when they swing their yeah, coffins the around, like a white glow emanates from them. Anyways, so. If this white glow touches the ground, yeah, more enemies will spawn. This is obviously slow, so prioritizing who to kill so first is very important when trying to optimize each floor. Records, then I don't... doesn't really matter that my viewer count will have, because I don't care. I can just have fun. I know, right? Fun. Although I do have fun doing stuff that like gets more views as well. I just don't have to do it all the time. I could like just do passion projects and shit. Like what I'm doing right now, for instance. I could do a nice mix of the two. Um, so like, each thousand floors you get a new set of potential, uh, floor sets, based on difficulty. I would say. You also get slightly easier variants that will give you, like, extra health and stuff, depending on which of the routes you take. I always take fire because it goes up a hundred floors, but like, if you take the water one, you go up one floor, but you always get like a max heal, for instance. And the lightning one's like in the middle, I think you get DT every time. And it's like slightly easier, but you only go up 10. And then every every ten floors, or every thousand floors rather, you get a boss fight, and that boss fight's totally random. But how hard? The While boss it is, is possible to get the same boss nice. multiple times, really it is exceedingly well, the, rare. Like, I got Severus. As Virgil, the best thousand. boss fights to get are Severus, so really Lady, Nevon, the Jester fights, Virgil and the Virgil really fights. And Most fights with Virgil are pretty fast, as long as you don't like get Garion, Arkham, or Agnian Rudra. It's not usually that big a deal. What's up, Seabo? Doing, the I second boss I got was Cerberus. This is a fortunate fight to get too. because Yamato's aerial slash so is really strong stupid. and hits all three heads at once. Felton. This makes him a total pushover, especially on the lower difficulties. How you doing, Nami? Also, I had a theory about BP, but I'm not sure if it's true. It seemed like when I accidentally did a 10 floor first, all of my other floors got significantly easier. Maybe it was just the RNG that I got, but it, it seemed like that was the case. But I also think I had to fight an extra boss or something. I don't know, it was weird. I mean, it was only the first run I ever finished that was two second fall. So let me on that. It's supposed to do what you want doing. It feels like a burn to switch to something else. But that'd be everyone's piece of cake, but that's their problem. Yeah, it's totally. I mean, and obviously, like, it's my job, so I kind of need to care what people think, but... At least this month, YouTube was a substantially larger portion of my income than Twitch, so... Oops. It's almost all luck. Nice. That's what's up. That's what I like to hear. Well, this one I got Jester and Severus so far, so... Yeah, that might be the case. I think... 
Just turn yourself on a lot on purpose and then get a bunch of wrath spawns. Yeah, like for example, I did an art stream the other day just because I wanted to stream art. And I didn't really care that much. The only thing that's hurt by me getting a 50 average viewer stream is my ego. Really. Oh, I didn't split. Thank you. What's up, Spooky? How you doing? Good to see you. Well, we're almost at the next one anyways, so... We'll know our pace in a second. Oh yeah. Yeah, unfortunately the market for that is, like, non-existent. But that's really cool. I love shit like that. I used to think the market for art stream is non-existent, but there's some really... really popular art streamers. The only problem with doing that myself is that my art sucks, so... <laughs> No, there's not really a market for art streamers that aren't good at art. I think I'm a, a speedrunner. I'm glad you did. That makes me very happy. Centipede. The third boss I get is Centipede. This is also really fortunate too, because if I had gotten Centipede later on, it would have been significantly slower. The bosses scale their difficulty with how far in the Bloody Palace you are, so this is probably about hard mode, with Centipede at about 4 or 3,000. Nothing great, but nothing terrible either. What's up, Desolated Sabers? How you doing? You know, that's something I've noticed people say about every animation for running ever in a video game ever. Like, if you watch a game enough times, you go, Man, that running animation's silly. Like, for every running animation I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't disagree, I just think it's a funny observation. Especially so since they're usually mo-capped. So it's literally just how someone runs. I think the vibe of the stream is important. If you have music and Bob Ross more entertaining than making a masterpiece, oh, for sure. But I am shit at entertaining people while doing art because I have to concentrate really hard on the art. <laughs> that doesn't help. Because I'm like trying to tie every last brain cell together to get like draw a straight line. Yeah, Bloody Palace runs have you do super costume because late game is fucking stupid. I do want to try to finish at least one run without super costume, but holy fuck. Like, the last couple levels are insane. Like, the last ten, that is. How did that not kill? Okay. What's up, Liam? How you doing? Good to see ya. 
insanely awesome. True. Big dick display of power and motivation. This is the triple one, isn't it? Yeah, this is the triple Vanguard room, I think. I got two before the other one spawned. That's good. This room is super bad if you get it later. Like, if you get that on the 9000 stage, you're just like, wow. Well, this run's terrible. And I'm probably gonna die. I really thought I was gonna get away with not getting one of these. I'm stupid for thinking that. Oh, that was at 4,000. Really I get Agni and Rudra, which is rather unfortunate because there is uh, really no solid idea. strats for them with Virgil. In theory, like you're supposed to knock their swords back and parry yeah. them to finish them quickly, but there's really no consistent way to do this with Virgil as his attacks don't line up correctly. I was lucky getting them so early on, because getting them past like 4-7 thousand or so would make them significantly harder. That's so slow. Takes twice as long as that super costume? Yeah, it's like all the last couple missions too. Just because the DT enemies take so much damage to kill. Although, by the way, is there auto splits for BP? If there are, I have no idea how to set them up. I've been manually splitting. Uh, not cramps, but definitely hand pains. That's why I take like big breaks. I take like a 10 minute break between each attempt in this category. Oh, but you can make some? That'd be cool. Not necessary at all, but... Starting on the 4000, the variance in floors can become really drastic. Lots more floors can feature chess pieces, which is technically more difficult than early game enemies, but are really easy to jump cancel with Virgil. And since the game is ramping up to difficulty, there's also the occasional freebie level, with just a few wraths that explode. These are the fastest floors in Bloody Palace by far, and getting multiple in late game can save a ton of time. That's my favorite floor. That one, right there. Because you do nothing. You just fucking... You just kill some va just kill some greeds. They die instantly. That's the whole thing. What's PB? Um, it is a 48.56 or a 45.52 in real time, or in game time. So two seconds off world record. Feels bad, man. So do we know why there's a difference between IGT and RTA for BP? Is it because the in-between stage levels don't count on IGT? Or is it some other reason? No idea? Okay. I was just curious if that knowledge is known. At 
At 5,000, I get the doppelganger fight, which is not the best of luck, but it is relatively early in the run still, so it's not a huge deal. The gimmick for this fight is that you can only damage him in the light, so you must activate the lights outside of the arena first. This activation takes more hits on higher difficulties, and he stuns for longer the easier the game is. He is weak to Beowulf, so just like the rest of the game, we Goomba stomp him to death. I got this fight on a much later stage in a, in a run earlier, and holy shit was it so much worse. It was so much slower. So Doppelganger is only good if you get it early. <sighs> Fuck, that's not who I meant to walk on to. For this category? Fucking horses, dude. I hate them. I mean, it's not that complicated. Pray for good RNG and spam swords and jump cancel. Beowulf. I know you use a lot of uh, that summon sword attack where you like make it spiral around them and stuff, but I have no idea how to do that actually. And uh, I feel like it can't be faster than just spamming swords. In the 5,000 stages, I get really lucky and have quite a few floors with only Wraths on them. This was a huge time save. Bloody Palace is timed using the in-game timer. I have a timer for myself to see my own pace, however, the in-game timer does not count the time when you're picking how many floors you want to go up. Also, starting in these floors, you can randomly encounter the fused form of Agni Rudra. This is not a hard fight, but it becomes a pure health trade, the since there is no safe way to dispatch of this enemy quickly. You just have to trade HP for time, and since Devil Trigger does not regain HP, you just have to hope that future enemies will drop some health. Is the verdict on Gilgamesh in 4? Real impact is busted. It can insta-kill like half the bosses in the game. Really good RNG. This is the second At 6,000, I get another Jester fight. There are three possible Jester encounters, and they are all really good options. This is the first encounter, but since I'm on floor 6,000, he has a lot more HP than he would if I would encounter him earlier. Goomba Stomp to the rescue. Even with Devil Trigger, though, if I get a bad pattern and he does a certain attack, I will get hit and knocked off of him for a few seconds. Thankfully, that was not the case in this like encounter. Like RSI coming on, on this boss fight. Whew. 
I've never seen the Jester Ball, actually. He always dies before I get there. At least in BP. JC's too strong. At this point, Bloody Oil has become some of the faster enemies to kill, so we hope for forwards with lots of them. As well as archers start to dodge backwards, which is undoubtedly the most annoying thing in the whole game. We must start doing slightly more lag. complex methods of chasing them down. This is going to be triple, I think, right? Three of them on timers. I think like the hardest boss in the game is Jester 3 on DMD. Jester 3 on DMD is fucking stupid, dude. That boss is straight down. I'm just praying that I don't get a Garion on this on this run. I got one on the last one. My second to last boss fight was a Garion and I was already behind. So I was like, nah. This this run's dead. First boss in DMC in general, Garion, in DMC 5, and in DMC 3 combined. Something about horses and Devil May Cry games just doesn't sit well with me. Or anyone, for that matter. Arkham can be fun though, like, he's a fucking terrible boss, but he's at least in, like, you can engage with him, you know? Gary just fucking runs around in a circle. At 7,000, I get Virgil 3, which is actually not that bad. The strategy is to deal just over 60% HP, so he doesn't go into Devil Trigger and then finish him before he ever gets the chance. However, on higher difficulties, such as for 7,000, it becomes yeah. a bit harder and I misjudge the timing on the hits. It's okay. He gets sent in the double trigger and I just have to do my best to knock him out of it. I botched this fight and it's probably the biggest time save in the whole run. That was a really bad boss fight. Lost me a lot of time. Unfortunate. Okay, I can make it back.
I did like two extra floors in my PB. So. We're Snuggles, thanks so much for hanging. I appreciate the lurk as well. Much love. Thanks for the good luck. I will need it. Hopefully, have we get, we already get Severus in this run? We need like some more Jesters or a Severus or something. That would be very nice. Yeah, the triple heads in the MT2 are a pretty bad fight. That is true. The building boss in 2 is a pretty sick fight, though. That's probably like the, the coolest fight aesthetically in the whole series, really. No cap. That's pretty sick. It's unfortunate that it doesn't play very well. What's up, nerdy? How you doing? Really? I love Nightmare in DMC1, but that's probably because I actually know how he works. And he's got a lot of really interesting mechanics going on that I've never seen in a boss before or since that I really like. What's up, Owen? How you doing? Good to see ya. The further into the Bloody Palace you get, the longer it takes to kill enemies and the easier it is for them to slowly chip away at your HP. Even with Super Costume, it's very possible to die in late game because of sloppy play and bad RNG on health drops. In particular, Hell Vanguards, game. the big green Reaper oh. creatures, could take a lot of your HP out in one hit. Okay, this is actually a pretty, pretty solid RNG as well. At 8,000, I get the Leviathan up. Heart. This boss requires you to kill one of the smaller organs to the left or right of the heart for it to become vulnerable. Once you do, you just wail away on the heart. So if enough damage is done the first time the heart opens, it will retaliate with some lasers, leaving it open to some extra damage. If played correctly, this can guarantee a 2 cycle. The organ on the right can zoom oh, Devil Trigger, and can even suck it from your super costume, so it's important that we fight that one instead of the left one. Too easy. Wow, big gold. I'm gonna do every category, you know. It's not IL. The only thing I don't want to touch is ILs. I'm gonna take a long ass break though after I get all the Virgil Reckies. What up, Peso? How you doing, dude? Good to see ya. Are you a father now or what? Mission 3 on DMD is like 140. What? Did IL should be itemless, IMO. Oh, 
but you know, that's just me. I had your son yesterday at 3 a.m. Feels fucking good, man. Happy for you, homie. Congrats. Oh, they all right in this? Oh, okay. Simo gave me the impression that they were not. That's really fucking cool, dude. Happy for you. That's sick. What's up, Mr. Gibby Man? How you doing? Good to see ya. I feel like I got really good 8,000 RNG. I feel like I got like a bunch of really good floors. I'm doing good. How about yourself? One last floor. I missed world record by two seconds earlier, so I had to do another run. Feels bad. I got Chester again. What is this insane RNG? Is this Chester 1 as well? At 9,000, I got insanely lucky and lucked into another Jester fight. No, that's super lucky. As my last boss before the final floor, this was the best Jester case scenario. Is. Even though it's on a super hard difficulty, Jester just falls apart under Virgil's boots, and I just have 10 okay, more so floors I can't left. Fuck up these last, like, the jump in difficulty and length for the floors has been gradual up to this point. However, now, all of the enemies start off with their own Devil Trigger, greatly increasing the amount of damage required to stun and kill them. These floors are the main reason why most people run with Super Costume. And, and even with them, infinite so. devil trigger, it takes a long time to, to kill these enemies. It is also the game. most random part of the run, as when the HP of enemies is increased, the easier the floors game. save magnitudes more time than they did before. The wrath stages in particular save a ton of time because they die fast, the and they also do a ton God. of team damage. Like eight more of those, please. Archers and Fallen are probably the worst because they run away and can't really be jump cancelled. So we'll lock onto the wrath. Thank you. I don't think I've seen a DM. Oh my god. They hit it, are so tanky. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Die, please. Thank you. Come again. I'm at 94. Just don't give me any chess pieces. <laughs>
I'll be happy if you don't give me any chess pieces. Or like, give me an only pawns map or something. record for this uh, 45 50 in in-game time which is like a 49 real time I missed it by two seconds in my last run so oh, this floor is scaring me I'm terrified do not split Nobody's allowed to split. Hopefully this is the only wave. It is. In one of these floors, I am faced with a dilemma, as both blood goyles and greed spawn. The best strategy to employ here is to stun the blood oil first spawn, and then spawn, finish spawn, off the greets. Sometimes you can get a stage with three hell vanguards on DMD with Devil Trigger. This was the worst possible stage, and I was able to get away with not getting any of them. Am I really gonna get no chest pieces? There's only one more map after this one pretty sure and it's I haven't gotten any chess pieces yet which is so lucky no vanguards either please I probably just jinxed it but be nice to me game yo that that dude is the homie he just gave me such a good platform to JC off of No spiders, please. <laughs> That's okay. This is a good one. No vanguards. I would much rather have this chest set than vanguards. Much rather. Uh, Killer B does more damage, but... Yamato is better for certain enemies. Like you can't, um, you pretty much, you can't JC the clean spiders, so... Yamato Rave's a good option. Alright. Virgil 3 is all that's left, I think. At 9999, you will always fight Virgil 3. This fight is once again not that difficult as Virgil, however, it's important to try to skip that DT phase by damaging him so much beforehand. I was once again not able to do this, but I saved it much better than I did last time. What's up, Breakfast Enthusiast? How you doing? Two oh three! Holy shit! <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> that was such a good BP. <laughs> so that is the world record speed run of Devil May Cry wow. Three Bloody that Palace. Was a really good Virgil. BP. I hope you enjoyed my explanation and the run itself. 
I appreciate you for watching. I got like insane. I stream almost every day on Twitch. Go follow me there for more speedrun goodness. So world record before that was a 45.50.